Welcome to Real People, Real Voices. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your host, Dr. Wayne Moore. Always a pleasure to host with you. It is my brother. It's going to be Have... a great show today. Yeah, it's going to be a great show today. Got a good young brother here talking about some good things to help mm -hmm. those that, who are a little less fortunate than, than a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Check out our sponsors. Lee Kossel and Crowley, if you need help, they can help you. Fervent Care, Child Care, and Christian Academy. Christian, clean, caring, and convenient child care. Give them a call. Also, dealing with the Indianapolis Healthy Start and Safe Sleep Program, the Marion County Public Health Department. We want to thank all of our sponsors and thank you for supporting them. And don't forget, the month of September is uh, Infant Mortality Awareness Month. So I hope you can get some information, find some information, and understand what infant mortality rate. Our state is one of the leading states uh, with infant mortality, and we need to do something to try to combat that as soon and quickly as possible. Very much so. And for those of you who might want to watch this show over and perhaps some of the shows you might have missed, you can go to YouTube and key in WHMB TV 40 and, and be sure to subscribe while you're there. And also like us. On Facebook. On, on Facebook. Facebook. We're there. We're there on Facebook. Uh, we'd certainly like to have you to be one of our friends there on Facebook. Right. And we're just excited about the fact, you know, Dr. Moore, so many people have been watching us over the past several years since we've been blessed to do this. Yeah, the Lord is blessed. Everywhere I go, somebody stops me and says, man, I really like your show. I said, well, it's not my show, it's our show. It's your show, it's my show. And we want to make sure that the community has some buy into this by becoming a sponsor. Absolutely. And giving information and giving great subject and topics to talk about. You want to stay with us? We have an incredible young man who's doing something really incredible that could probably benefit you. We'll be back after these messages. Back to Real People, Real Voices. We're joined by Mark Harsley II. Yes, welcome sir. to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And you're the CEO of, um, well, Kite. Kite. K I T E. Yes, K I T E. Yes. How'd you, why'd, you, why'd you pick that name? Yeah, very interesting. I picked that name, Kite, because a kite is a way of communicating inside of jails and prisons across the U.S. So when you want to send a message to someone, the phrase you use is, send me a kite. And so in developing this business and developing this application, I wanted to pick something that really represented that community, the idea of overcoming like barriers to communication and the way in which we did that inside facilities and then applying that now to this business on the outside. I gotta ask you a question though. Is kite an administrative term or is it a penal term as it relates to, uh, so uh, if you know it, what I mean by penal? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it is, it is a word that we use. So it's not derogatory okay. for us. Um, and so it's not like the correctional officers that are using it. I mean, I have heard them use the term as well, but it's really something that we've kind of adopted and made our own, just mm -hmm. like many other um, words within uh, our vocabulary, we've kind of made it, and it has its own meaning for Turn us Turn it into a positive. Yeah, exactly. Turn it into a positive, absolutely. Well, so, so tell us how the application is working or how it will work. I, I got really excited about it when we were talking about this, um, and you developed it. Yes. You came with the idea, and as I understand it, you pitched it to... Yes, sir. Um, you pitched it... Uh, Indiana the, Chamber. The Indiana Chamber, and they liked it, so kind of talk, talk us through how all this came about. So uh, my story actually starts with uh, leaving the federal uh, SCI in Terre Haute in October of last year. Uh, when I left, I was looking for a way to really use my gifts. I found the Code Academy, uh, which was Kinsey Academy, where they taught me how to program and code computers. Uh, while I was incarcerated, I had this idea because in trying to communicate with my family, uh, with my parents, my brother, I was looking to see pictures of my daughter. Um, there weren't really any good ways. They were all expensive. It was like 750 for a phone call and it's 15 minutes wow. and you can't do that 
frequently. And when someone wants to support you, but they can't, you have to have a way. And so when I got out, I went to the school, I learned how to code, I built this application um, with the incarcerated in mind, with keeping people connected with their families who are incarcerated in mind. Where we are now is that we have an MVP, a minimal viable product for the application. We're beta testing it now with families to improve the user experience. Um, I did win the Ready Pitch competition with the Indie Chamber, and from that has been a lot of connections and people who are looking to invest and really develop. We're still very early mm -hmm. in this business, so we're self-funded up to this point, um, and all of the intellectual capital that's went into it has been the primary investment of just so you're the re you're the you're the the, the poster for reentry. <laughs> Uh, it would appear that way right According now. According to the chamber, you yeah, would be. Absolutely, absolutely. I've <laughs> yeah, definitely seen. I mean, let's just be frank about yeah, it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the poster of reentry. Yeah. Um, been incarcerated, created a an ideology, turned it into something that is phenomenal. That's going to reach yeah. uh, hundreds and thousands of in, the incarcerated, and 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 uh, now you are not only a picture of the reentry pro process, but you. You are, you are also what we consider one who has been fully uh, rehabilitated uh, for the good uh, of citizenry. Absolutely. So that's great. Absolutely. I think that's important that people are given a the opportunity chance. to have a second chance. Mm -hmm. um, there are stigmas associated mm -hmm. with being incarcerated. We are all, we've, people who've been formerly incarcerated are or have been for different reasons. My mm -hmm. reason was different for than from others, mm -hmm. um, my circumstances. I came from a good family, had a lot of opportunities given to me, still found a way to be in that situation. And so the challenge is like, what do you do after you've been, uh, you failed yourself, you let other people down, and you just need opportunities. And you have to, there's people have an important role to play in the development of other people who have had missteps. Mm -hmm. And that's by keeping them close and by connecting. We have a tendency to discard people once mm -hmm. they no longer are doing mm -hmm. things that we approve of. Mm -hmm. But if you can stay connected, particularly why, while they're incarcerated, that's really what this application is about. I mm -hmm. want to make money, but I want to have people have a chance before they even leave the facilities that they're in right now to know that they have support. We had 7,000 people in the U.S. recently just get released from prison. A lot of those people haven't had driver's licenses and things like that that they need. To and this be is able what to you're going up. to be providing. Yeah, so we're just providing a means of connection and communication so that those things can happen, so that you can know what's happening, you can know what you need when you get out, so that you have um, a lifeline when you need it. And just so you can see the pictures of your family, so you can not miss those birthdays and occasions. That's something that's constantly on your mind is what's happening outside of these walls and so we want to give them that motivation so that we can have a chance to keep them motivated when they do leave are and you applying for dollars for for your program absolutely so well, um, I, I would i would beg uh, uh dr jackson um these these financial institutions like cicf and all those other groups to really consider this, this kite program, mm -hmm. because I've seen them give a lot of um, uh, dollars to reentry mm -hmm. and rehabilitation that, that went flat quickly. Mm -hmm. This is something that can really be 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 uh, advantageous for for for, for that the penal community yeah, when they're getting ready to come out and 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 while they're there. So need to reevaluate who they give those dollars <laughs> to. That's how I look at it. Yeah, and you've. Um obviously studied or have experienced the difference from being connected to family versus being disconnected because mm -hmm. as I understand it sometime um, sometime judges will send people a long way away from absolutely. their family on purpose absolutely mm -hmm. but you're we're saying that it's a better to have some contact communication it's better, it's better. so you know we are the United States has been in the business of penalizing people for the decisions that they've made and doing severely. things. Severely. Uh, yeah, severely. And <laughs> unduly in a lot of ways. And 
one of the things that, that was important in developing this was not having to have to make connections specifically with institutions because there are messaging companies and phone companies that have contracts where facilities also receive money from those contracts. This was about using the process they already had in a way that it wasn't being utilized currently so that I'm going to have to go in and broker a deal with the people who are responsible for these people being in the situation. Yeah. And that was something that was really important for me. I think that a lot of other companies' goals is just to make money. money. And this is not about money. This is about people, humanizing people, um, being out of sight and out of mind. We even are well-intended sometimes. Even if we thought about our cousin or we thought about our friend mm -hmm. that's in that situation. but. It's just not convenient to do. So you got to make it easy for people to do things. Otherwise, they don't do them. Yeah. Well, you've been a great guest. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank all, you. All appreciate the best it. to the development of Yeah, Thank man, you. you're going to get it. Thank you. you I know, appreciate it. People, we're advocating for you right now. Thank you. I appreciate Turn it. Turn those dollars around and move them in this direction. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. We'll be back Bye, after this. Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices. We're joined now by Miss Danola Burton. Yes. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you, you. Miss Burton, for, for coming. Thank you. Enhance DNA Publishing. And when, when uh, I first saw you um, in the green room and I saw the DNA, I immediately thought that you were going to be talking about DNA. She was coming back with one of your tests. Yes. I, I told her I would wait for the results. <laughs> That's the reaction that I get a lot of times uh, because my brand is enhanced DNA. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're mentoring. You're a mentor. I am. I do a lot of things. I started as a scientist, which is why I wanted the acronym of DNA. Okay. Um, and when I retired, I started my own company, and I came up with the enhanced DNA for develop, nurture, and achieve. So okay. in my business, I help um, individuals and organizations develop, nurture, in order to achieve their results. And I do that for leadership, communication, and performance. Mm -hmm. And you were a scientist. I was a scientist, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So what motivated you to become an author? And if you could, share some of your books with us. I will. So I actually do a lot of uh, stories in my workshops that I do. I main, mainly work for nonprofit agencies, and I, I do workshops. I tell a lot of personal stories. So the personal stories that I tell uh, led to this first book that I wrote. It's called, If You Really Knew Me, The Life, The Lessons, and The Legacy. And it's stories in my life, the lessons that I've learned from those stories, and the legacy that I'm leaving. And it's simple little stories, things like, um, I didn't know I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. And so the first time I went to school, I didn't know I couldn't see. The teacher identified for me that I couldn't see. So there were lessons that I learned, and it's kind of like my eyes were opened, and that's the same way it is with life. Our mm. eyes get opened. So I became an author because of the stories that I told. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really desire to be an author. I really fell in love with the publishing process. Okay. And as a result, that's how the enhanced DNA publishing piece of my business surfaced. And so you motivate people to become authors now. Now I do. And so I have actually published this year three other authors and three of my own other books. Okay. Um, some of them are specific to the work I do. This one is enhancing my communication DNA publishing for beginners, mm -hmm. uh, leadership DNA coaching for success, the most recent one is the one around mentoring, and that's the one I'm the most excited about. It is mentoring moments 
14 remarkable women mm -hmm. share breakthroughs to success. Mm -hmm. And so I have actually worked with 14 different women <laughs> from five different states, and we have created this book to tell our stories about the challenges and the successes that we've had in the workplace and how we have come through to success. I noticed uh, women authors do a lot of collaborating. Yes. Uh, they're not, they don't do very many single author concepts, right. uh, especially coming to women, black women authors now. You, you, I've noticed that they do a lot of, am I right about that? I think you are. Yeah. I think that we need to find a way to help others. Yeah. A lot of collaboration and, and authorship now. And a lot with, of with, with collaboration. Women. Yeah. It is. Now this particular book is a collaboration of a diverse population, mm -hmm. but most of our authors are uh, African American. But this book uh, is really designed for any, I think it is designed for women mm -hmm. of all ages, whether they are teens, early career, mid-career, or even later career like myself. Mm -hmm. So in, in uh, Danola, in this book, in the bonus chapter, you talk about significance. Yes. And then in this book, you talk about zero to hero. Yes. So there's some... There's correlation there. there kind of talk about that. It seems like that's something really down in your spirit. It is. So in my career before I retired, uh, yes, I started as a scientist, but I transitioned into HR, human resources, mm -hmm. early in my career. Because I was a natural nurturer, I really wanted to do something to help others. And the role that I had in HR was to help other employees be successful in their careers, whether they were career um, uh, uh, scientists, uh, they could be in IT, whatever area they were in, they were um, needing help being successful in their careers. So that's where it started. Uh, as I went through my career and continued to develop and, and retire, I said I didn't want to stop there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to still be able to provide guidance to others in whatever stage of life they were in. And so uh, from the corporate world to my entrepreneurial world, I'm still able to do that. Tell me, what's the quote you live by? Uh, the quote I like the most is, live my life in such a way that those who know me but don't know God will learn to know God because they know me. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, good. That's a good quote. That's a good yeah, quote. Yeah, I love that because mm. I don't have to go around and announce to people about my faith. I want them to see that I live my faith. Yeah. You don't need that. You, you don't need manufactured attention. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. You got a book launch, book signing coming We've up? We've got a book launch. This book is now available on uh, Amazon, and it is also available on my website. And um, uh, the book launch is in September. Um, this The month. end of this month, yes. Um, and um, really excited because... I, I, I mentioned that there were five states represented by the authors in this book, and all but two of those authors will be here for this book launch. So that's pretty exciting. So you have a date and a location? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's so. September 29th. It will be uh, at the Propylium at, um, on Delaware downtown. Uh, September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. Um, at the Indianapolis Propylium where all 14 uh, authors will be sharing the, uh, their mentoring moments. They'll um, be signing, right? They'll be signing the books. They'll be yeah. available. Book collaboration. Yes. Yeah. The cover is very interesting. Thank you. you. See that yeah, how did, um, yeah. That cover came about, I, actually, this is a companion to the... Okay. Um, okay. You have a journal. I have a journal. It's a companion, so it's kind of got the same theme of colors. But those uh, colors came about in the fact that when I explained to the artist what I was looking for, I wanted it to be where we we were. Uh, you see the women at the bottom of the book? Yeah. We're kind of united. Yeah. And I wanted it to That's show dangerous. that we are united <laughs> together. And depending upon how you look at it, we're either coming out Our of something, something or, going or we're into going it. into it. That's why I said but it's dangerous. But we're going together. Yeah. Yeah. We're we going don't know together. which way you're going, out we or in. We don't know which way. Yeah. But if you have a mentor, Many times you can get there quicker, 
and with assistance. And so that's what we're really trying to show you. At the end of each chapter in this book, for whatever situation that author has just described to you, they give you five questions that you can ask yourself in order to either prepare for a conversation that you may want to have with a mentor mm -hmm. or for self-reflection because this book is not intended to be a replacement for a mentor. Hmm. It's to help you understand the value. More of a guideline. It is a guideline. Well, you've been a great guest. Thank All the best you. to the book launch and uh, thank you. everybody involved. So excited. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. We'll be back in just a few moments with more. Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your co-host, Dr. Wayne Moore. And I'm your executive producer, Faith McKinney. Had a, a cadre of great guests there mm -hmm. um, dealing with some very, very important uh, issues. I think the um, app that's mm -hmm. going to be reaching out, helping families co to connect is so important because a lot of times when folks get sentenced, uh, Deliberately, they are sent far, far away from their families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. But uh, to see this young man be rehabilitated and to come out in in a in a, in a the atmosphere of reentry, create a business, and sit before the chamber, and the chamber and win a chamber uh, award mm -hmm. is phenomenal. That's that's reentry and rehabilitation at its best. Uh, but to, to to see that he's having He's not vested. Not well. He to see that he's not in a place uh, to where he can get resources for this mm -hmm. is it, just baffling. It really su suggests that uh, there might be some some things that are not really kosher in the grant approval system. Mm -hmm. When you see a young man come out with something like this, that the indie chamber buys into. Yeah. And 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 we have an issue uh, making sure that. Uh, he has resources to make sure yeah, that, that it can reach people. That might be something that Danola Burton can help with with yeah. regard to a book collaboration yeah. on how this is healthy for families right. to be able to stay in contact mm -hmm. with their families. She's doing an excellent job she in could authoring teach books. Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she could teach him how to author a book yeah. Yeah. for that particular, particular situation. Working with some phenomenal women yeah. here in um, around the country. So, mm -hmm. yeah, she could. if anybody yeah. could do it, she could do it. Yeah. Yeah. September 29th. It's going to be that uh, book collaboration launch at the Purpoleum, mm -hmm. I think I heard her say. That was the Purpoleum on, De uh, on Delaware, yeah. We'll <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>